Hello, good morning and welcome back to Rushangsoft OPC Private Limited. In today's session, let us understand a deep learning project using mask RCNN model to segment and detect three different types of bone images, namely femur, tibia and patella. Let us understand data set details. We have just used 44 custom annotated knee MRIs to understand and identify three different classes femora, tibia and patella. The training details we have just you know trained this model for a five epochs using uh, COCO data set and each epoch contains 35 batch size. Let me just uh, walk through the code that I have in the collab. So you can just upload all the details. You can see that there is a folder here, knee segment. In that I have used, you know, the latest mask RCNN uh, GitHub repo, uh, which is implemented for TensorFlow 2.14.0. We have data set, which contains training images. You can see I have used around 44 training images then all these images are annotated using uh, vgg annotator to create a json file you can see there is a demo json file present over here and then i have validation folder which contains all the images with a uh, json file corresponding J json file i have a test images i have taken around you know limited uh, set of test images one important thing to be remembered here is whenever you are trying to test the image which is not there in the training and validation folder you have to convert that into grayscale you can see the format of this format is dot jfif format it is so if you have a png image or jpeg image you can convert that using online converter to get a grayscale image and then this can be provided as input during validation now uh, let me just uh, go through one important uh, python file that is custom.py you can see this is a file which is responsible for training so these are the packages to be imported in the training this is my root directory where i am you know i have stored all my data set you can see there is a new image the same you can just right click on this and then copy the path and you can paste it here right so this is a root directory path and then uh, let me just you know quickly walk through see the model that we are using is for training is mask rcn and coco.h5 so coco model it is for knee image uh, for mask rcn so class custom config uh, we have configured our images per GPU is 2 and total number of classes are 1 plus 3. One is for background, remaining 3 is for 3 different types of knee images, femur, TB and patella. Epoch size, you know, steps per epoch is 5 and I, I am interested in all the, you know, output uh, which is having more than 90% accuracy rate, right? So this is about the class custom config and then say we have 3 different types. Uh, that is femora, tb and patella we have two different folders one for train one for validate you can give a path for json file which is there in your training folder and then this is a code for annotation of each and every images right then it is for adding those images assigning a num ids to those corresponding masks then once a mask is created you can load those masks right and then you can start with training the model while training we are going to provide the train folders path inside data set we have a train folder same path you are going to provide here and then validation folders path also you are going to provide and then i am going to train only heads not, not each and every layer of mask rcnn and i am not going to include all these things so i can skip uh, certain you know uh, classes that are there in the mask rcnn so then i'll start with training right so this is about training so what i'll do is i'll just uh, show you 
what is the output I have got for this project. So I'll start from here. The first and foremost command is you can git clone the repository which is present in this uh, Mahmood 22 mask RCN and TF 2.14.1 git. So this you can just uh, git clone it. Go to the path, you know, root directory path. For my case, it is knee segment. So you can just go inside the directory here. So knee segment directory. And then whatever requirement files are there for this uh, present in this git repo, you can just uh, install all those dependencies, right? So once you run the cell, you should get all this, you know, all the uh, packages imported, right? Then it will ask you to restart. You can just click restart. Once all the requirement files are installed, next thing is, you are going to run this command to install mark mask rcnn so you once you run this cell you should get uh, you know mask rcnn successfully installed then go to the root directory if it asks to go inside the root directory and then start training see this is a file which is present here custom.py this is a python file which is responsible for training you can just run that cell so this is python custom.py it will start executing training you can see i have started executing uh, that the training has started here i have three different classes femur tb and patella so all these uh, ids will be assigned to all the 44 images that i have taken in the training and validation folder you can see all the images have been assigned with their own labels okay three different labels and then I'll start with the training. So you can see the training has started. This is, I have just given five epochs, one out of five, it has started, then two out of five. So you start getting the training now. Once the training gets completed, log folder gets generated. You can just inspect it, try to find the latest uh, folder. From the latest folder, whichever is available, you can choose .h55 you can see here so the last h5 file is 005 this we are going to use for you know validating our uh, test image correct so you always note that once training gets over log files get generated and you get .h55 okay so now i'll start validating my you know um, i'll start uh, detecting the output so the, these are all the packages you have to import once you import it give the root directory path right so inside root directory path we will by default create logs folder in logs folder we will get dot h5 folder see this is a pre-trained weight for our uh, three different types of knee images femora patella and tibia right so whatever dot h5 file is most recent that you can uh, take it as a weight okay pre-trained weight then class uh, custom config class you can set it so whatever uh, fun whatever class i had you know set during training the same thing it is you can just copy the same thing you can give a steps per epoch as five and you can take any output which is more than 90 percent same thing it is class custom data set you can assign 3D different labels. You can load the training JSON file, which is present in the training folder. You can see the path of training folder. Once it is done, you can add the images. You can load the masks, right? So you can give a reference to images. Then you can start with test mode inference. This is most important. Inference means I am going to predict or detect, right? So we have two different types here, test types of test mode. One is train, another is inference, which means detection or prediction. Root directory path you can assign. You can run this cell and then you can run this uh, cell here. You can choose validate, you know, folder as a data set, right? So once you choose validate, it will start showing all the labels assigned for each and every uh, 44 images you can custom config your class you make mode equal to inference run this cell 
load the coca data set right so it will show we are restarting for epoch 5 and then this is for checking the segmentation and detection you are giving the test uh, you know image so where is this test image you can see inside data set there is a test folder inside that test folder i have 78.7812.jfif right so right click on this copy the same path here right so once you run this cell you can see i got output for femora detection what is my accuracy bonding boss accuracy is 97.7 for detection of uh, tbr bonding box accuracy is 96.5 that's it thank you very much